So throughout the month of November, we have been highlighting the things for which I am thankful. This week, I wanted to talk about how thankful I am for this. It's my cell phone. <laughs> you see, the reason I'm thankful for my cell phone is because I get to do things like this. You see, in just a few seconds, I'm going to be connected with my grandma, Van Persum. And we'll see, she has no idea I'm calling, by the way. So we'll see how she answers the phone. Or if she answers the phone. Hello. Hey, Grandma. How are you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> hey, I'm calling you in the middle of one of my ministry videos as we speak. <laughs> okay. You want to say hi to everyone? Hello, everybody. <laughs> so I'm just calling you because one of the things I'm thankful for is my cell phone. Because I get to call you even though you are 313 miles away, I can talk to you in seconds like you're right here with me. Well, guess what? I'm up in the cities. Oh, you're up in the cities, so you're along. I'm like you're even putting a puzzle together. We're sitting around the table putting a puzzle together. Oh, cool. So even That's further away than pictures. what I had said. Yeah, it's a beautiful major scene in a church, and it's beautiful. All right. So well, it's really fun. Well, I was just calling to kind of create a point for my video, and so thank you for answering, okay. and you enjoy your puzzle. You bet. All right, say hi to Pat and Dave for me. Yes, I will, and you have a happy Thanksgiving with your family there. Yeah, you too. Love you, Grandma. Yeah, love you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. So, uh, like I said, I'm very thankful for my cell phone because no matter how far I'm away from someone, whether it's 313 miles or even more, I can have a quick conversation with them in just seconds. And even though this technology of being able to connect with loved ones hundreds of miles away hasn't been around forever, the thing is, our connection with our Heavenly Father always has. See, this is done through the power of prayer. In scripture, we see people pray in all different situations. Samuel prayed in the middle of a battlefield. Nehemiah prayed in the palace. Paul prayed from a ship that was about to sink. And the craziest of all, we see Jonah pray from the belly of a fish. One of those areas I hope I never actually have to pray from. <laughs> The thing is, the great thing about prayer is that we can talk to our Heavenly Father without Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile. And best of all, God is never too busy to take your call. So as I close, I want to encourage you that no matter where you happen to be traveling this weekend, don't forget to call on your Heavenly Father, even if it's just to tell Him that you love Him.